so that's okay. Welcome back to ASEAN in Focus. Today we are very much honored to have here on the show live Mr. Max Ortega of um, Global Online Association for Learning to discuss e-learning in the Philippines. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, Nea. Glad okay. to be here. Yes. So first question, sir. Mm -hmm. How is the e-learning services here in the country? Well, um, to start with, the Philippines has a good potential of becoming an e-learning hub of, mm -hmm. of ASEAN just because we do have good teachers, mm -hmm. we speak um, the English language well, and I believe that our, our schools are capable of teaching um, academic courses at par with the global standards. Mm -hmm. All right, now the e-learning um, status. We do have a lot of teachers interested to have an e-learning uh, platform in their school, mm -hmm. also teach their subjects through e-learning, and I think we're getting a lot of um, um, traction even from the industry, that e-learning is, is one of the ways that they can really upskill their workforce. Mm -hmm. How is it, oh, how important it is for the country, especially in the face of ASEAN integration? Sure, um, if, if you think about it, um, ASEAN integration includes a lot of, of ways and venues. Mm -hmm. Number one, for the universities to talk together mm -hmm. and come together and you know transcend the geographical boundaries. Mm -hmm. In the Philippines, we do have two major drivers. Okay. Um, one is the RA10650, yes, which the was open learning act. precisely the Open um, Distance Learning yes. Act, um, which uh, provides a, a venue for academic institutions to become more global. There's no need for, for a Filipino student to travel to Thailand or go to Singapore just for them to study. Um, it opens um, the, the opportunity for us Filipinos mm -hmm. to learn whatever they're learning somewhere, mm -hmm. especially in the ASEAN countries. Now, um, with that, our A10650 will create regional centers mm -hmm. for, for, for upskilling the teachers mm -hmm. and, and the universities on, on how they would like to do it. Mm -hmm. um, hence, we need um, a body, a venue, a community that will allow this, this learning to happen. Mm -hmm. That's one of the advocacies of goal mm -hmm. for, for, for us to precisely yeah. agree. And, and that's a goal to, to assemble those um, academic institutions so that we can also patch them up with the industry. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um, students who are studying would like to be employed mm -hmm. and the academic institutions can get input from the industry on what are the skills needed for, for, the, for, for them to, to be um, competitive in, in the workforce. Mm -hmm. How do we par with the, uh, with the rest of the ASEAN member states in terms of this e-learning services? Um, well, they do have uh, some advances. Mm -hmm. um, I, will, I will not say unfortunately for the Philippines, mm -hmm. but um, they have been working with the Philippine um, academic institutions for, for, for their e-learning program to happen. Um, again, because of RA10650, that enables the Philippines to do the same. Now we are getting help from, from other ASEAN countries um, for, for, for their curriculum to be applied to us. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, you can get um, credits from, from other ASEAN countries here in the Philippines. You don't need to travel mm -hmm. anymore, correct? Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to go to, to, to Vietnam or, or, or some other places just to get an IT certification. Mm -hmm. Now, because of that, we can do it here in the Philippines. And then again, the driver, t our, our, our A10650, that allows the, the communication and the transcension mm -hmm. of that um, crediting to happen. What about the K-12 um, program of the government? Um, how is it, um, you're saying that it, it, we don't really have to go to Vietnam or the other ASEAN yeah. member states, so how does it work? Correct. Now, K-12 actually now targets our youth mm -hmm. um, to be more educated. Mm -hmm. um, they have, there are a lot of schools of thoughts there, actually. Um, but the bottom line is, as, as early as possible, mm -hmm. we can actually make our kids be educated to be ready for higher education. Mm -hmm. Um, that's actually the third driver. Um, K-12 will allow the, the young people to learn more things mm -hmm. so that when they graduate from, from, from grade 12, we are sure that they're ready to go up mm -hmm. and, and be productive in the workforce. Mm -hmm. You've mentioned a while ago that the other um, ASEAN member states have some advances in terms right, of right. learning um, services, but I would just like to know what, what is the potential of the Philippines? Well, um, to start with, let's, let's just take a look at our teachers. Mm -hmm. um, 
we have a good command of English. Okay. Um, if you notice, I would say five years ago, mm -hmm. um, when the, the English online um, business started to boom, a lot of those businesses opened up in the Philippines, um, mm -hmm. from, from small mom and pop um, service centers, now to a big um, call center type operations. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that big. Now, um, the second is our ability to create courses. We do have creative workforce mm -hmm. in the Philippines who could actually deliver curriculum and the actual content for e-learning, mm -hmm. and that will make the e-learning more fun. Um, just imagine, um, this, is, this has been an observation. If you, you can now learn how to cook in 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. um, just go to Pinterest, learn how to cook in 30 seconds, just watch the, the pictures mm -hmm. go anima animated, and then um, you, you can do it at home. Before, we have to buy those um, thick books spend a lot more time reading it now you can do it in 30 seconds mm -hmm. um the third is because of our rich history we're able to transcend from from eastern to western and western mm -hmm. and to eastern um we we know how to adopt just because um, it's part of our culture already um we have been friends of, of many other countries outside the philippines and, and that will allow us to become internationalized okay let's now talk about goal yes what is goal who is goal sure when did it started <clears throat> Sure. Um, just walk us through. <laughs> sure, we'll do. Um, Goal is actually a global online association for learning. Mm -hmm. So um, the advocacy is to put the Philippines in the center of the education hub, whether it's ASEAN or, or the entire globe. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we will start with ASEAN first. Oh, yeah. Um, so <laughs> sure. um, that community, Global Create, um, Globe's membership um, spawns from from individual practitioners to mm -hmm. teachers, um, corporate trainers from the industry, up to uh, actual companies who is doing e-learning already, and also um, educational institutions who would love to to help Goal mm -hmm. to bring up like a, like I would say standard for for e-learning, and and Goal will become the venue for them to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, there has been some sometimes um, a wall between the academe and and the industry, and now goal we will take the, out that wall so that they can communicate and you know bring about changes mm -hmm. how is it working right now right now we are happy to announce that um goal has, has been um partnering with a lot of other similar organizations um we do have institutional partnerships and and and, and um professional partnerships okay. um and we are excited to, 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 to tell you that Goal is coming up with this Learning Summit 2016. Yes, <laughs> next month. Next month. That will be in February 16 mm -hmm. to, to 18 at the SMX Center in, in Manila. Mm -hmm. And we'll be joined by at least 500 um, participants coming from all over, mm -hmm. whether Philippines or, or international. We do have a lot of speakers um, from, from the arts, music, um, sports, and some some um, internationally renowned personalities in e-learning. That sounds interesting. So yep. that will be again when, when is that? Um, again, when that's um, February 16th mm -hmm. to 18, 2016 of course, and that's in SMX Pasay City. Mm -hmm. is, this, is this the first time that you're doing this? Yeah, um, at this size and, and, and this um, magnitude, it's Goal's first time. Um, before we just do quarterly meetings with only 50 people, now, because of the partnerships that we got, we are now blowing it up to at least 500 people. Okay, before I let you go, I would sure. um, give you the chance to invite sure. our audience to join your international summit next month. Okay, um, so everybody, I would like to extend our invitation for you to check out Go Learning Summit 2016 happening February 16 to 18. That's in Pasay City SMX Center. Um, for, for more details, you can just go to, web, to, to our website. It's www goalonlinelearning.org slash learning summit 2016 you'll get all the information there from registration up to how do you get there so um hopefully i see you guys next month and we'll enjoy our first learning summit 2016. great thank you so much Susan. thank you very much thank you for gracing the show of and course. good luck to your thank um, you thank summit. you and i hope to see you there yes <laughs> thank you we'll be right back <laughs>